again. If you've ever been sedated, you, uh, your breathing becomes very shallow. So this is certainly the case with her. But she's breathing again. Shallow, but she's breathing. Alright, let's see if I can get a little more of this stuff in there. Because most of it appeared to be coming out of the jail. So I'm going to make sure there's no air bubbles. And yeah, like I said, this just gets trickier and trickier. You breathing? Yep. Take a little. Take this in the snout. I apologize, it's kind of dark over here by this book. So once she's kind of revived, the purpose again of the bucket with the half and half is just to get the clove oil off. I'm going to return her back to her treatment, the regular hospital tank. Now as she's breathing, um, I just want to get, again, get that clove oil off and get rid of the sedation, make sure she's breathing. Okay, so we're going to get back in the tank. The hair out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I got seagulls on my hand. Mm -hmm. So then I just kind of hold her in here. Oh, she's getting a fight back to her. She's fighting me with her tail. But you can see the gills. You can see the gills moving. So she is in fact breathing. And uh, I just kind of hold her here. If you want, take a look. I'm going to flip her over. Focus in on her tail and get the light. This is internal gas bubble disease. I'm pretty pretty certain of it. It's hard to actually see the bubbles that well, but um, it's got to be what it is. I think uh, maybe there's some better light. You mm -hmm. can see that all those small little bubbles inside. Um, it's got to be internal gas bubble disease. I've had her in Furion too for. This would be, today would be the second of the second day of treatment. Um, but today I'm adding some Diamox because she is having issues with buoyancy. So, but this will be the sixth day. She hasn't eaten yesterday. I tried to force feed. I don't know. She seems a little more spunky today than yesterday, but time will tell. 